Hello everyone, welcome back to English Clavers. In this video, I'm going to talk about two commonly confused verbs in English, lay and lie. These verbs may seem similar, but they have different meanings and uses. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of when to use lay and lie correctly. Let's start with lay. Lay is a transitive verb, which means it requires or needs an object. The meaning is to put something down or to place something in a particular position. For example, I lay the book on the table or she laid the baby down in the crib. The past and past participle forms of lay are laid and laid. For example, yesterday I laid the table for dinner with my family. The carpet has been laid in the entire house. Lay the towel on the bed for me. No, I need to lay the table. I to lay it on the table if you want me to change it. I took the baby, laid it on a table, drew a sword from a nearby soldier, and what do you think he did? When I had laid it on the floor, I went to blow the fire aflame. When he just laid it on the table. While lie is an intransitive verb, which means it doesn't need an object. The meaning is to recline or to be in a horizontal position. For example, I'm going to lie down on the couch and read a book, or the cat likes to lie in the sun. The past and past participle forms of lie are lay and lay. For example, yesterday I lay in bed all morning, feeling sick. The cat has lain in the sun for hours and now her fur is warm to the touch. When I woke up in the morning, I realized that I had lain on my arm all night and it had gone now. So she tells me I have to lie on the floor, right? I'm happy just to lie on the beach with her. <laughs> We'd lie on the bed, talk about all the places we were gonna go. I lay there. Mesmerized. I've lain awake nights thinking of you. Lie also means to say or write something which is not true in order to deceive someone. For example, she lies to her parents about her grades in school, or the child lies to avoid getting in trouble for breaking the vase. In this case, the past and past participle forms of lie are lied and lied. For example, he lied about his qualifications to get the job. He has lied to his girlfriend about his past relationship. If they lie to me, they don't respect me. At least I don't lie to myself about who I really am, okay? You lied to me for over a year? You lied to me about daddy. For a long time, I have lied. So, there you have it, the differences between lay and lie. Remember that lay is used when you're putting something down or placing it in a particular position, while lie is used when describing being in horizontal position or saying or writing something which is not true in order to deceive someone. It's important to use these verbs correctly in your writing and conversation to avoid confusion and misunderstandings. I hope this video has been helpful in clarifying these commonly confused verbs. And thanks for watching. See you later.